Hey beauties, thanks again for tuning in. So today's video is an anti-haul. Number one is the Kylie Cosmetics anything because I feel like a lot of her, um, I would say at least her lipsticks are not nude for us. I feel like, you know, her nudes are gonna look good on me. I know that she does a lot of her swatches on her friend Jordan. She has another friend, um, I cannot remember her name, but she's absolutely gorgeous. She is about my skin tone, and sh I rarely ever see Kylie do swatches on her. I know that she has modeled her a few times for like the True Brown K. That's probably the darkest shade that she has. And also, there's also been a lot of controversy with people saying they received empty bottles, and actually I'm in this group on Facebook, and this girl, recently posted it was like yesterday the day before yesterday posted a video of her um box the kylie cosmetics box that everything comes in and it literally had like maggots and like some type of larva in the box i just feel like there's just way too much controversy um and bullshit that i don't want to deal with that's surrounding this whole brand and i'm not knocking kylie as a person i don't know her so whatever i just I can't, I'm just not gonna, I don't even wanna deal with it. I don't even want to go there, so that's number one on my list. Number two is the um, Tarte Cosmetics Unicorn line. They have like this whole um, fairy tale, mystical looking thing that's come out and they have a line of unicorn brushes. I found tons of brushes that are unicorn brushes and they look just the same and they probably work just as good. I'm not going to spend that much money on, I think you get like, I know in the PR packages they were getting like five brushes. Like if I'm going to spend that kind of money on a um, set of brushes, I damn well better have a set, okay? Like a full set. And I mean, why? Like I feel like a lot of times when we buy stuff, it's just because it's hyped up. And, it's, and then when you get it, you're like, oh, this was not... This was not all it was hyped up to be. And I'm just not, I just, no. Mm -mm. Nope, not, not gonna happen. Numero tres is Juvia's Place Anything. Now, you guys have seen that I have done reviews on having kids. It's fun. It's fun. Um, now anyways, you guys have seen that I've done reviews. I have three of their palettes. I have the, um... Nubian 1, or just, it's called the Nubian, the Nubian 2 palette, and the Masquerade. They're bomb. I'm not gonna lie. The pigmentation is there. The color is there. It is brown girl, white girl, blue girl, green girl friendly. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it is, it's definitely a good buy. They're pretty affordable. <coughs> <coughs> However, their customer service sucks. Um, and they're quite rude. And I just don't care to even deal with that. It's just, it's not even, not even worth my time. I'm sure I can find plenty of other brands out there and cosmetic companies. I mean, hell, I found stuff at drugstores that are just as good as that. All this information that I've talked about um, will be in the description box too, just so y'all know. I don't know if their customer service has changed within the last few months, but just from the comments that have been made and the things that I see of how they respond to their customers, even on their Instagram, I don't like it and I'm throwing major side eye. So moving Number on. four, um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. Now, if you know me, you know I love me a bomb ass highlight. And I'm not knocking Anastasia Beverly Hills at all, baby, because I have one of the palettes and it is bomb.com. But... I don't want to put out, I think they're $45 for five highlights when I have used palettes like the one that I just did a review on, the Carly Bible palette that gives you five highlighters and eyeshadows and those highlighters are a one. You know what I mean? So this part is just solely on saving money, not because I don't like the brand, because I love any and all Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah, I... Just won't be buying it simply to save some money. Number five, Shea Moisture. Now, I'm not gonna get all up into that tea because it is what it is. And it, my reason for not purchasing from them is not because of the whole controversy because like I said, it is what it is. My reasoning is because that shit makes my hair dry. 
and I'm not gonna spend ten dollars per product on something that's gonna make my hair dry now I have not tried their whole line so I don't know if everything makes my hair dry I just know what I've used um, really <laughs> um, I just know that the few products that I have used they just really don't do much for me um, so I will be switching over to Carol's daughter because I 100% love this. Number six, Morphe brushes. Um, I just feel like they're overhyped, honestly. Um, no, I don't have any of their palettes, but I have looked at their palettes and I've watched reviews. And there's nothing wrong with their company, but I feel like a lot of their palettes look the same. Like they just came out with like a 35... Are, I think and it looks like their 35O palette and then you know what I mean like everything is just kind of the same and I think that's a lot of the problem with a lot of the new palettes coming out is they all look the same like we know as as women and as beautiful men that when we're buying a new palette we probably have that color already somewhere in another palette you know what I mean so for me there's no reason to even go buy Morphe I know that a lot of beauty bloggers and um celebrities are endorsing them and that's great it, it's they're a good company from what I hear and their colors are really you know smooth and pigmented but I feel like I have all of those colors so there's no reason to go out and purchase a palette from them number seven lime crime I do have some lime crime um like liquid lipsticks and I have the, two of their palettes the only two that they have right now I believe it's the only two that they have those are actually my first two palettes like of real deal makeup and their pat their make like eye makeup is bomb like I love it but I won't be purchasing anything from them because I find that a lot of their shades are not um brown girl friendly I feel like that's the thing that I keep running into with a lot of, a lot of companies is that they don't have that broad spectrum of color because different pigments show up looking different on different skin types and, and I feel like a lot of companies need to start catering to every single shade because again we all are different um number eight is the wet n wild line of foundations now they do have darker shades but again like i keep saying they don't go down to the darkest shade and literally in stores at like if you go to walmart or you go to walgreens wherever i think the um darkest shade they go down to is what they call amber <laughs> And I laugh my ass off because actual amber is like a yellowish brown. This color is like literally maybe a t it would go on a tan white girl. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to go for me. It's not going to fit for me. It's not going to fit for um, even a darker mixed girl. It's just not going to work. And I love how the companies name these shades. Like I know um, for MAC, for instance, their color that I am is a um, medium beige. I am not beige nor have I ever been beige in my life you know what I mean like they need to name these colors accordingly so I will not be purchasing any foundations from wet n wild however I will say I love wet n wild I have a lot of their um, eyeshadows I have a lot of I have their mascaras I love their mascaras and they are very 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 affordable number nine is Too Faced uh, I do have their um, better than false lashes um mascara i love it i endorse it all the way 100 percent. it's my favorite i will never use anything else but that but i will not be buying any of their eyeshadow palettes because to me they just they just don't do it for me there's no i don't know i just don't see what all the uproar is about when everybody buys their palettes and like oh my god i love them like me personally i don't see there's nothing in any of their palettes besides the fact that they smell like you know some of them smell like chocolate the peach palette smells like peaches like that's cool I like that but other than that there's nothing in there that just makes me go oh my god wow that is different from any other palette that I have ever bought because they're not um, and so why again am I gonna go out and spend a shitload of money on colors that I already have you know what I mean it just makes no sense so maybe when they come out with something that's just like wham bam thank you ma'am I will go spend my hard-earned coin on that until then no number 10 and this is a big one because everybody and a mama and a dog and a brother's dog and a daddy and whoever else is endorsing it and wearing and well eating it sugar bear hair I just I don't I'm just gonna keep taking my little biotin that I bought for like uh, five dollars 
maybe like five ninety eight. You know how Walmart like do the ninety eight. Five ninety eight at Walmart. Um, it's like a thousand milligrams, <laughs> and it works just well for me. Um, number eleven, Fashion Nova. That's a big one because you. I know you see all these little Instagram models um, endorsing Fashion Nova. They got celebrities, hoo ha, whatever. Um, don't get me wrong. Their little outfits are cute, but. You cannot tell me that you can't go to your local rainbow. I know y'all know what rainbow is. Rainbow done been around for a long time and has kept up with the times, boo. You cannot tell me you, you can't go to um, rainbow and find pretty much the same thing, okay? For a lesser price. Don't play with also, me. Also, real quick, while y'all spending all this money on Fashion Nova, putting money in their pockets, you could be spending your coin at places like Adorned by She, okay? Okay, um, and get some original, original looking outfits. I will put the link to that in my description box, please and thank Number you. Number 12, wigs. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to continue to wear wigs here and there, but I have a problem with the way sometimes the hair is, um, I would say, uh, <laughs> retrieved. Um, I watched a documentary on um, how they get the hair from the, you know, people who donate it. And I just think it's really, really, really cruel. Um, there's times when these women will shave their heads for religious purposes and they think that they're giving their hair to, say for instance, a, a church or, um, you know, their place of prayer, whoever is um, in charge of their pla pr the place of prayer. And these people in this place of prayer are actually profiting off of these women's religion and beliefs and they're selling their hair to buyers here in the US or buyers in their country who are then selling their hair to buyers in the US um, I think that there is a hair craze here in the US and everybody wants to look beautiful and luxurious and have long flowing hair and that's good and gravy but you have to under you have to know where your hair is coming from and um, the code of ethics that is being used whenever retrieving your hair. And I just don't think that that's cool. Like, we're just purchasing hair offline, not knowing if this shit was snatched off somebody's head because they shaved their head in, you know, thinking that they were, you know, like doing the right thing for their religion. Like, that's just, to me, that's not right. Like, they're being lied to. Um, and then also the processes that some of this hair goes through is just absolutely disgusting and ridiculous. So for me, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to buy a wig, but I'm just going to really, 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 really do the research on where my hair is coming from. Also, I will put in the description box the link to some pretty good um, wig companies and, you know, clip-in companies, bundles, wefts, whatever that I think are really good, really reliable and honest. And I will put the link to those in my description box. So that is it for today. Hit the subscribe button and if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you hated it give me a thumbs down other than that y'all have a good day i'll see you later peace